Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Non-Leeds Premier League. My name's Louis, also known as Lurg. Well, I hope you all had a fantastic, fantastic weekend. It's Monday, everywhere's open again. And we've been on a little bit of a wavy form of... <laughs> ah! um, <laughs> you'll see why it's so frustrating in a moment. We've lost two games that you would expect us to lose. But we've won a couple of games that you definitely wouldn't have expected us to win. And we've lost some games that we definitely, definitely should have won. And you'll see why from the statistics. We won't keep you too long this afternoon. What we'll do now is we'll fly straight into the schedule and you'll see exactly what I mean. So we come over here then. And as you can see, you were last with us for the result against Tottenham. We followed that up with extremely good performances at home against Arsenal and Everton. Winning 2-1 in both games. Uh, you'll see there... Own goal from Arsenal and then Tony Simon on the score sheet. Then Svetanovic and Mokhtar on the score sheet. We then lost 2-1 to Liverpool. And in all fairness, we could have got something out of that game at Anfield. First half, we could have been absolutely out of sight. We hammered them for 45 minutes. Don't know what Jurgen Klopp said to them in the dressing room. Because at half time, they come out and my God, did they batter us. 2-1 in the end, probably fair on reflection because the second half was really immense for them. Then this game, Bournemouth, 1-0 loss at home. Look at the state of this. We absolutely hammered them. Just couldn't find that breakthrough. And in the 82nd minute, Legieska <laughs> scores and Bournemouth take all three points. In a game where realistically they would have been lucky to take one point, honestly. And that is just utterly, utterly frustrating. Um, we then followed that up with a 1-1 draw away at Southampton. Again, a game that was very much a game of two halves. Uh, first half, Southampton were better. Second half, we pushed on and pushed on and pushed on. We obviously got the equaliser, but then we couldn't just quite see it out. Um... Not disappointed, to be honest with you, at St Mary's. That did stop our four-game un unbeaten streak against them. So, it was nice to kind of break the duck. We then followed that up with a 2-0 two loss, two loss against Manchester United and a 2-0 loss against Manchester City. Worth noting that against Manchester City, we were much, much the worst team. I mean, really, really poor. But in the first half, they were absolutely brilliant. They scored two goals early on. And against everything that I believe, I thought it's got to be time to do some damage limitation here. So I changed the tactic up and went to a 4-3-3 with a holding midfielder, two central midfielders, but playing defensively and then hitting long balls for the counter-attack. And although we didn't actually get any chances ourselves, we very much nullified them. So I was quite happy to keep it at 2-0. If you'd have seen the game, you would have seen that that, Probably didn't do City justice in their performance. They are an extremely good side. So, that leaves us then, as you can see, 12th in the English Premier League. Had we have won that game against Bournemouth, though, we would be 8th and just outside of the European spots. We have got a squad here that is very much capable of challenging for those European spots this season. Now, I'm not on about challenging for 5th upwards, but... 6th, 7th, very possible if we can get a decent run of form and stop getting some injuries. Will we do it? I don't know. I think we're probably going to finish mid-table again. But I would really like to push on from where we were last season so that we've at least made some improvements. Obviously know that the Premier League is very difficult. It is what it is. We've got a big game today against Crystal Palace. We are at home and then the next game is going to be away at the King Power Stadium. Without any further ado, let's get into the games this afternoon. Right then, so this is our squad at St Andrews for the game against Crystal Palace. We've got a couple of people out, so we're running with Felipe, Jimenez, Wood, Jesse, Gerardo, Frost and Sparrow in midfield with Santanovic, Daniel and Maric in midfield, obviously just behind the striker who we are playing Mokhtar this afternoon. 
hopefully we can get a big, big result. We need to get points on the board again now. So we've got to turn around this kind of slump in form that we're having. We've got four games without a win now, which is definitely not good for us. Hopeful that today we can do the business against Crystal Palace. Obviously, they're above us in the league as well. So if we get the three points today, that will be fantastic. Uh, we will go in on Mohamed Diame. And we need to step up our game here and put an end to the run of bad results. Everybody then is there. We're going to play attacking. Uh, football's a funny old game. Who knows when it will happen. So this is how we line up then, as you can see. Got Tonk, Steele, McGee, Doyle, Henderson, Gilchrist and Giles on the bench. Crystal Palace then line up also in a 4-2-3-1. Poseidon, Dorami, Eze, Conte. Very, very good. They've got Shalaba there in their midfield as well. They're just above us in ninth place. Only one point above us in the table. So this should be a very, very close game. And the clock kicks off then. And you'll notice actually, Crystal Palace started quite on the front foot there. They had a lot of possession early on. Nothing really happening at the moment. Just not brilliant for us. Palace with the free kick then. Richard gets the ball again. Dorami. Oh, lovely tackle by Maric. Maric to Jesse. Jesse out wide for Gerardo. Gerardo can't get it. It's back out here with Dorami. Don't bring him down. Don't bring him down. Oh, Richard's there. And it's bundled into the box. And that is 1-0 Crystal Palace. And straight away we are now on the back foot. Dorami with a lovely bit of skill to get the ball off here with two people on him. Richard just floats it in. He's ahead of his man there. Who was that? Can't even see. Very, very poor from ourselves. Safanov then. Boots it long. Easy does get there. Wood intercepts. Jimenez plays it out wide to Svantanovic. Svantanovic back to Jimenez. Wood. Frost with a poor ball. Ball comes over the back to Dorami. And that is 2-0. It's only going to be 1-0. Thank God. VAR is going to confirm that this is offside. It's going to be a close call though because initially my thoughts were that that was a goal. Ooh, we're not looking good. Content A uh, is offside. He's quite clearly offside. I didn't, didn't see that. I thought he was level with the right back Gerardo, but he's not. And just not playing well at all here. It's headed on then. Jesse to Gerardo. Back to Jesse. Out wide to Gerardo again. Joe Sparrow to Maric. And Maric's pass this time is poor. Daniel with a beautiful interception though. It's two on two. He, he goes nowhere. He just runs into, into everybody. Done a lovely interception. And then just absolutely nothing from it. As Dorami comes forward. It's a nice tackle by Gerardo. Only as far as Shalaba clear then. Sinesi. Out wide for Dorami, but Gerardo is there. Maric is in front of him. He actually hits it really long for Mokhtar, who's on side here. And that's 1-1. One, one, and completely, completely against the run of play, it has to be said. But Mokhtar with a beautiful finish and a lovely, lovely pass there from Mark Gerardo. This is sensational. Sees Mokhtar running. Hits it just in time. Beautiful running behind. And one-on-one -on -one there. Keeper really, Safanov should do better. He just kind of stands up at Mokhtar. Doesn't go to the ground at all at his near post. But if you're Crystal Palace, you must think that that's definitely against the run of play. And feel maybe a little bit hard done by, honestly. Gamers seem to level out here, though. Which is nice. But we're just missing that little bit of something. Durame is now off injured as well, which is good news for us. Uh, I'm going to thrash my arms and say I'm far from pleased with what i just seen. We will give the lads 15 minutes before I change to a 4-4-2. Throwing comes in here then. Gerardo's going to take it. Throws it short to Daniel. Daniel back to Joe Sparrow. Back to Daniel. Maric to Frost. Oh, Frost, what a goal that is. I wasn't sure whether it had crossed the line or not. Oh, my word. Absolute powerhouse of a strike. Thunders off the underside of the crossbar. And it just crossed the line and come back out into the keeper's arms. Maric spots him. Frost one time. Bang. And there it is. 
Oh, that's beautiful. And it does show you here the goal line technology, obviously showing you that the entire ball is over the line before it bounces back out. Oh, and we needed that. That was a big one for us. That does move us up into eighth in the table. Then only two points behind seventh, which is what I was saying. But our performance today has been far, far from kind of convincing, um, which is a bit of a concern. Dorado is a yellow card away from being banned. That's fine. We're not going to take him off just yet. However, Joe Sparrow is having an absolutely terrible game. So what we're going to do here, and maybe this is probably not the brightest idea, but we're going to bring Joe Sparrow for Daniel. Then we're going to bring Morgan Tongue on. And we are going to go into the 4-4-2 and hope that we can just get a little bit more going here because we're not we're not as good as we normally are. That's all I can say is we've we've put in much, much better performances than this this season. And at the moment, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with how we're playing. Especially when you consider the big, big wins we had over Arsenal and Everton. Like, we should be putting in bigger performances. And that was absolutely piss poor. Sorry, pardon my French defending. Gerardo and Jesse there just let Bennett get straight in behind. Poor goalkeeping as well from Felipe. As you will see, Gerardo just lets Bennett get behind him. Then can't make the tackle. Jesse doesn't come towards him. It actually probably blocks the view of Felipe. So I apologise for that comment. But 2-2, two -two, that is absolutely unbelievable. It took us so long to get back into this game. And we are the better side now. Gerardo to Daniel. Then back to Gerardo. It's out wide. It's, it's headed clear as far as Frost. Frost to Jimenez. All the way back into Daniel. Daniel with a beautiful ball through. And Morgan Tong is there. He's offside. As soon as it goes to VAR, you know straight away that you're never getting a, a decision where it says it is still a goal. I've never once seen it. Uh, we're going to have to see this. It didn't look like it was offside to me. It looked like it was the other guy who was... Oh, my God, he's a mile offside. <laughs> There's three players standing in massive offside positions, which is extremely disappointing. And that would have been a really go good goal as well for Morgan Tong to get, get a little bit of confidence underneath him. And on the great scheme of things, I would say that a draw is probably a fair result there. But second half... For most of it, we were the better side. And again... Oh! <laughs> pardon me. Again, we were the better side for periods of the game. And that's just not good enough. Right, we will be back in a moment for the game at the King Power Stadium. So here we are then for the game at the King Power Stadium. And we have changed it up to the 4-4-2 because I'm not happy with how we're playing at the moment. And honestly, we probably need a little bit of strength in midfield and up front, truth be told. We are going then with pretty much the same 11 as beforehand. We've got Felipe, Jimenez, Wood, Jesse, Gerardo, Frost and Doyle in midfield, Fentanovic and Maric behind Mokhtar and Petruzzi. Now, just before we go into the game, I want to make sure that on our attacking corners, we have got Mokhtar at the front post on both which we do, that's fine. So hopefully we get a good result here at the King Power and I'm not throwing it away. I was tempted to go with the 4-3-3 defensive formation, but I really don't like inviting teams onto us and, you know, with the greatest of respect, this Leicester side are not like Man City. They're not even like the Leicester side that are in the Premier League at the moment who are a very, very good side, obviously. This Leicester side is very, very average. So we're adapting to any situation. Hopefully, hopefully, changing our formation does indeed give us that kick up the backside that we need. So, early days then. We are better in possession in the first 5-10 minutes here. Nothing really highlight worthy at the moment. Oleg throws it long. Gerardo heads it to Doyle. Back. Maric then on the ball. Interesting that Gerardo was further forward than Maric there. Back to Gerardo. Lovely crossing. It's headed away. Obviously, Tommy Doyle's going to get there first. Frost has got Jimenez out wide, but goes inside to Doyle. Mokhtar to Petruzzi. Poor, poor pass from Petruzzi there for Maric. Stefan then boots the ball very, very long. Oh, it bounces over the top of Jesse. Big, big mistake from the youngster. And that could have been very, very costly, ladies and gentlemen. 
Shankov then with the corner in. Jesse does head it away. Maric is going to be counter-attacking. He has got Mokhtar in support. It's two on two here. He launched it out wide for Svantanovic. Svantanovic goes round his man. And Svantanovic scores. That's very unlucky for the Leicester defender there. I thought he'd gone round his man. But he did get a foot in. But the ball bounced back to Svantanovic. And in that kind of a position, you would bank on him scoring. Nice pass. But at the same time, it kind of slowed down the move. And he could have actually squared it for Moxa, who was just inside of him there. It would have been an easier goal, but we are 1-0 up. Mudrick then with the free kick takes it beautifully. Oh, 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 oh. Felipe just palms it onto the crossbar and thankfully gets the ball back himself, which is nice to see. But that was very, very, very close. Quite an even game here at the King Power then. Stefan with the goal kick. Launch it out wide. Gerardo hits it to Maric. Maric cuts inside. Goes out wide again looking for Svantanovic. Frost picks up the ball. Goes back to Wood. Back to Frost. To Doyle. It's going to come inside here to Mokhtar. Mokhtar for Maric. Maric. Oh, can't get it there. Jimenez does recollect the ball though. Svantanovic. Back to Jimenez. Jimenez for Petruzzi. Petruzzi's got a score. How do you not score there? It was a great block. And then corner comes in at the near post. Mokhtar can't get onto it. And Frimpong is the man who reacts quickest. It's a three versus two here. But Jesse, a lovely tackle. Harrison does pick up the ball. But knocks it out of play. And Leicester are starting to turn up the heat here. They're not happy with being behind. And we may have to make some adjustments in the second half. So that we don't give up a lead. Don't particularly like dropping back to a defensive formation. Shangov then gets it in. Oh, it hits the post. And what's he done there? I think it was Wood who tried to get it clear. No, it's Frost. And he's just booted the ball off of Braganka. Ah. Gerardo with the throw in. Marriage collects it. Tommy Doyle. Mokhtar. Inside to Petruzzi. And that reinstalls the lead. Solio Moores 2, Leicester City 1. Nice little bit of football there. Frustrating after what just happened at the back. Marriage with a nice pass back to Tommy Doyle. Lovely first time football. Petruzzi doesn't even think about it. And that's what we need to see. I might drop just to a balancement. Wow. That was hard to say. Might just drop back to a balanced mentality here so that we're not throwing so many bodies far forward. I am pleased with how things are going. And that's indeed what we will do. Just drop a little bit back. Gerardo then making a good interception. Throw in here. Gerardo throws it long towards Jesse for some reason. Why he's throwing it that far back, I don't know. Pedro inside to Mudrick. That was pathetic. Mark Gerardo... Absolutely at fault there. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. No need to go long, uh, short here. He had Tommy Doyle in the middle. And instead he's gone to, to throw it back to defender. He's left poor Jesse in a two-on-one situation. And Pedro just, just squares it across from Woodrick. And that is 2-2. Two -two. Tommy Doyle with the free kick then. Headed towards the back post. Nathan Woods does indeed hit it into the net with the header. And this is one of them games where you just don't know what to do. As the gaffer here, I genuinely don't know what to do. I don't know whether to drop back and go into the 4 3 3. I don't know whether to drop into the 4 2 3 1 and try and just solidify things. Um, I get the feeling that this could be one of those really high scoring draw games, but I'd love to obviously take the three points here. Does move us up into eighth in the Premier League. Chang off them with the. Ooh, get it out, Jimenez. With the corner, Frimpong collects the ball. 70 minutes gone, and I think it might be time to change things up a little bit if we don't concede here. Doyle then launches the ball forward. It's a three versus two, a four versus two. You've got to play the ball. Gerardo, Maric is there, squares it across to Petruzzi, who hits the post. Oleg clears. Oh, that should have been our chance to give us a strip of daylight between the two sides. Really nice counter-attack. And it just... Absolutely comes to nothing. Marich is shattered. And we are going to, for the last 10 minutes, we're going to do what I don't normally do. And we're going to try and shore up here the three points. 
So Petruzzi's going to go out wide for Maric. And we'll actually change Petruzzi for Castillo. We'll bring on McGee for... Hmm, did we want to do that? Yeah, McGee for Tommy Doyle. And then we'll change Maric and Frost here. And then we will bring in Spara there. Just give us some fresh legs in the midfield to really give things a little bit of oomph. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see out what is a hard-fought victory. So, clock is running down then. Stefan with the goal kick. Launches it long. Solomon's out wide. Does pick the ball up. It's headed on to him. He's going to get the cross in here because nobody's next to him. And that is what we didn't want to happen. And this is why I don't like inviting teams onto us. I know that people say we should really at times. Um, that is just not going to do for me. It's not going to do. We bring Sparrow up here. Uh, no, we won't do that. We'll do it properly. So we'll swap Frost with Sparrow. And we have to hope now that we can indeed... Cut back again. Sventanovic with the ball. Plays it back to Dion McGee. McGee goes out wide to Gerardo. Gerardo back inside to Dion. Dion back to Gerardo. They're playing themselves into trouble here. Leicester are, are quite pressing high. Akanji a little bit lucky as it falls to Del Castillo there. Ah, come on. Jimenez then inside to Sventanovic. Sventanovic back to Jimenez. Back to Sventanovic. Back to Jimenez. Ball inside, Spentanovic, Joe Sparrow's there, and that's 4-3 to Solly or Moores, and it's not going to count. Oh, come on. We need the points. We desperately need the points. It's going to be disallowed. We already know it. <laughs> VAR is not our friend. And in all fairness, he is offside. Only just offside, but he is offside. A draw isn't a terrible result, in fairness, at the King Power Stadium, but... That was a game that I feel like we very much could have won. In all fairness to Leicester, as soon as we invited them onto us, as you can see from the XG chart, it just spikes up again. Oh, a result, a draw is a fair result. I, I can't complain with that, but I feel like we could have got more. <laughs> Sums up our season entirely. Uh, a great time to score. It would have been nice for Joe to score, but obviously he was offside. So that leaves us then in a good position. Like we're not we're not doing bad in the league at all. We've got seventeen games played. Obviously twenty one games still to play. Twenty one points on the board. We are slightly negative in the goal difference at the moment, but we're seven points ahead of the relegation zone. Bearing in mind at the moment we are still only required by the board to avoid relegation. We're playing very well. We're ahead of where we were last season. So hopefully we are going to push on. Uh, I'm just going to go forward a little bit because I'll show you our schedule. The reasoning for me coming back at the beginning of December this month is because we've got in our scheduling here. Come on. So if we go down, we've got a long, long January. So I thought if we come back kind of early, mid-December, we can play all the way through now to the end of January against Leeds. So we'll come back for Leeds and Newcastle, both away games, which is, you know, it is what it is. Um, but also the January transfer window will have been done. So on Wednesday, hopefully we'll have some news about a few players moving on who are not quite up to scratch and a couple of players coming in. Obviously, we've upset the balance of the team a little bit at the moment because of the amount of new players who we've got in. So we've got to have to wait for that as well. But I think we should be doing better. I really do. Folks, thank you very, very much for your continued support. I will catch you all on Wednesday. Have a great afternoon. Tally bye.